Alrighty, hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Tireless God here, and um, I think what I'm gonna start be doing, what I think I'm gonna start be doing. Wow, I'm starting off this perfectly flawless victory right there. But uh, what I think I'm gonna um be doing is I might just start be doing uh little vlogs every here and there. Just play some scape, talk over uh the video while I'm playing, have some fun, do some stuff, you know, just to get some content on my page, interact with you guys. Oh man, I I think it'll be nice. I hope you guys like it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, so talk about some scape stuff. What is going on recently? Well, um, I guess one thing to talk about is uh, Mod Mark had a comment earlier today that was going to give us a little hint as to the updates in 2013. Now, we're not necessarily sure what it is because it is a cryptic clue, but what he told us is the gods are going to be searching for the rarest butterfly. Oh no, they're going to be hunting for the rarest butterfly. There we go. I have zero idea what that means. Um, I asked on my Twitter, for those of you who follow me, I am at RuneScape Humor. That is my uh, tag on the interwebs over there. So if you want to follow me, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but, yeah, I really don't know what that has anything to do with. Um, I asked some people on there, and uh, some guy replied with uh, a new hunting D&D. &D, and, you know, that's what it sounds like, being, like, capturing and, you know, butterflies and that kind of thing. Because butterflies already do exist as a uh, hunting thing. So, uh, you know, that could be it, but the thing is, it is a cryptic clue, so, um, I, what, what I'm assuming, why can't I attack this? Oh, because that big fat guy is in the way. Oh, oh, yeah, we won. Oh, oh, as if we were going to lose. But, um, yeah, I have no idea what that means. The gods will hunt for the rarest butterfly. I have no idea. I really hope when uh, said update comes out that we will find out exactly what that means because uh, I'm interested as to what it relates to right now. It is boggling my mind. I can't think of anything. Um, I mean, um, I'm thinking like there's that quest coming out this year in regards to the uh, quest that is going to move the RuneScape game year forward. Now, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but uh, RuneScape as a whole um, has only been taking place within the same year. So, like, if you were actually, like, the character, like, we are in RuneScape, years have not gone by. It's only been a year in total. But there is going to be a quest that is going to change that. It'll be moved forward once upon completion of the quest. So that's kind of interesting and something to look forward to, and I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with that. Or quite possibly could be related to the new skills that are going to be coming out this year. We are getting two new skills. One of them is a uh, applicable skill. So, you know, something like uh, Herblore or um, da -da 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 -da, farming, I don't know, not farming, or like construction, something like that, smithing. And then um, the other one is going to be a gathering skill, something like fishing or uh, hunter, you know, something like that. So we're going to be looking forward to that. Um, so that might, it might be a very obscure reference to that. Um, but I have no idea what it could mean. Uh, all right, let's take down this last portal here. Ready? And a skadoosh, a skadoosh, two, three, can I get to the fourth one? No, that one that went down pretty fast. So yeah, that update's coming out pretty soon, and uh, we will see <laughs> what that means in the near future, hopefully. I'm uh, pretty excited to find out. But anyway, another update. What's coming out next week? Oh, that's right. We are going to be getting an update to all bosses, as well as armors. Uh, armor at the moment is kind of like... You could wear Batwing and someone with Virtus, and you'd feel like the only major difference is the guy with Virtus has more life points. There's like no no big difference. It should be like this huge scale. So what they're doing is basically every armor set is going to be... Oh my gosh, I'm tired. 
Every armor set is going to be on an exponential scale now, and in case you don't know what exponential means, that means the farther along you go, like the difference between bronze and uh, Torva is going to be huge. That's the only way to describe the difference is with sound effects. Um, so yeah, they're going to be implementing that as well as uh, hopefully set effects. They mentioned set effects. I don't know if they're just changing the armor types like uh, stat-wise. If that's only going to be the change or if the set effects are going to come in, I really, really hope the set effects come in because I want those set effects. I want to see what they do. Um, and also, bosses are getting an upgrade. Bosses are easy. I'm not sure if you guys have been to God Wars, done anything like that before uh, since the EOC, but I could go to God Wars right now and I could rack up a thousand bandos kill count if I really wanted to. If I wanted to put the time in, I could, I could just sit there for a thousand bandos kill count and probably still have room for more because of the abilities and uh, how easy like the bosses are with comparative to how our armor is, uh, how much damage output we can do and all that stuff. God Wars is so, so easy. It's not even funny. I mean, I went to Zami for uh, a while and the only reason why I left is because I became bored of it. I didn't want to be there anymore. I wasn't having fun. I also didn't get any drops, so that sucked. Uh, 280 kill count, zero drops. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so, there's that. Uh, we're going to see if it is a uh, good update or not. We're going to see how much powerful. I know like that they updated the uh, Glay cores in the beginning and they said that they were giving them a boost and a buff and all these different kinds of things and it turned out to not be like that much of a difference between how they were and uh, what they became. God, I gotta stop yelling. <sighs> I just got off work a little while ago. Probably just tuckered out from all that. Um, oh, this portal went down already. Like I hit 666. Um, anyway, so yeah, we are going to see how uh, that affects any kind of bossing. Um, I know I'm a bit of a QBD addict myself. I go there all the time to try to get kills. Um, if any of you saw, I made a 100 QBD drop log. I had done another uh, not so formal and put together uh, 100 QBD kills before that, and I did a, a ton, ton before, before I even started logging any. So, um, yeah, I've done QBD for a while, so we're gonna, I'm going to see how the uh, QBD is right after all of that. And hopefully it's not that much harder because I want to still be able to do it. I literally have fun. I don't care what you people say or if you don't like the GP per hour or you can do more or the QBD is stupid. I don't care. I have fun doing the QBD. Literally, like the 100 QBD kill count. I didn't feel like it was a drag. I didn't feel like, oh god, I gotta go finish this. I had fun, and you know what? To each their own. If you can enjoy the game however you like it, I mean, it like, especially if you're like a skiller. Some people look at skillers like, oh, that's so stupid. I don't get it. Blah blah blah. You know, like, who cares? Like, if they're having a good time skilling, let them be a skiller. If you love woodcutting, if you have 38 mil woodcutting experience, but your attack is only 70, and you have no other 99s except woodcutting, you love chopping trees, you love going out to a tree, and you're like, you, me, tree, I'm going to chop you down, and we're going to have a good time. Yeah, if you like doing that, go for it. <laughs> Personally, like, I don't see the point in it, I don't get it, but you know what, I understand, it's something that the person loves, so... Let them continue and have a good time. It's their game. It's their player. They make their own uniqueness to it. Speaking of uniqueness, that kind of reminds me back when I uh, played Scape in the olden days. Back back in the classic days of RuneScape. Um, am I the only one in... Am I, oh, there's some guy in there. I thought I was the only one here. I was like, where did everyone go? Uh, that reminds me back of the classic days when I used to play. You literally almost had um, your own uniqueness to yourself just purely because of um, skills and how hard it was to level and stuff uh, so like my friend was really really good at cooking so he was literally the cooker for our group because not a ton of people had high level cooking or enjoyed that kind of thing for me my uh, smithing level was 75 uh, what was it back then? It was 72 back in Classic, and back then, that was pretty good. I was level 72 smithing, and I was ranked 8,000. I got into like the 7,000 for a little bit, but I, I just say I was around 8,000. Um, 
but yeah, so everyone had their own uniqueness. I, I would make armors. I would do different kinds of things. People would ask me for uh, like God, like like different kinds of smaller sets because I could make them like mithril and whatnot. They're like, hey, I need some mithril armor. If I give you these things, can you make it for us? Or do you want to go mine it? Because I was also level uh, 74 mining back in Classic, which was another crazy skill to have. Oh my god, I'm here by myself. Oh wait, never mind, there they are. What the hell was that? <laughs> you, uh, go, go have fun by yourself. Just just go on out there. You you can do it. I know you're the only one and everything, but you know what? Forget about it. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that reminded me of the past and all that different kind of stuff. I hope this blog kind of thing is interesting for you guys because I've never done anything like this. I've never just kind of, like, I talked to myself before. If you watch my PK comms, you know I talk to myself. I talk to you guys and you guys listen to me, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you turn off the audio and you're like, I don't want to listen to this guy because he's annoying. <laughs> I don't know how you do my videos. But, uh, uh, go, go, hurry. No, fatty, fatty in the way. Move, fatty. Move. Ugh. But uh, I hope this is entertaining for you, and maybe you want me to continue to do more. Please leave a comment in the description about. Uh, please leave a comment in the description. You can't touch the description. I am. I need to like lay down for like an hour or something. <laughs> but that's an XP waste. No, can't XP waste. Um, but yeah, just leave me a uh, comment and let me know if you want me to continue to do this, uh, make some more videos, do this more often, because I can definitely talk to you guys, make a lot more uh, videos like this. Like, this is easy to make. I can just go around talking, having a good time. I don't want people to be like, oh, dude, you're like a uh, freaking, God, what's that guy's name? Number one boss, going around, scaping, talking, and all that kind of thing. Yeah, well, the only difference is, I don't know. It pretty much is the same thing, but I don't know. If you guys want me to just make vlogs when I'm scaping to talk about stuff, have a good time, have a few laughs and all that shing digs, then uh, yeah, I will continue to keep doing this because I want to please my audience. I want to please you so good. Oh, yeah. you know, I want you to see me doing this. I want you to hear me doing this. Uh, that just got really creepy really fast. <laughs> But yeah, just leave me a comment if you want me to keep doing things like this, talking about RuneScape updates, thoughts on RuneScape, different kinds of things. Um, I will continue to do this. If you have a topic you'd like me to go over for the next uh, discussion, put it in the description. I will talk about it. If you have uh, anything you want me to do while I'm talking, let me know. Right now, I'm focused on, uh, like I said, getting that Void Melee Helm. And uh, so that's why I'm filming right now doing this. I have like... 80 more points to go or something. I just want to get it done. Um, so yeah, definitely drop me a comment and uh, I would love to fulfill that in my time that I have here in the skate world. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will definitely go over some more stuff with you guys later. See ya.